You guys see that blue truck in front of that LCBO shop there? That's the LCBO, that's the Liquor Control Board of Ontario, Canada. And that blue truck is a uh, armored car. They deal with uh, money and so on. And those guys in that armored car, they're armed. They're one of the few people in Canada that are, who are allowed to carry weapons uh, to protect the money. And yet, in Ontario and elsewhere in Canada, children are being assembled by the dozens and even by the hundreds in high schools without any protection at all. You know, the problem with the problem with the shootings in the United States is not gun control. It is that there are no guns to protect these children in schools and malls. Those are no gun zones. You take a country like Switzerland where people are required to arm themselves and, and get proper training. You know, half the population of Switzerland carries a gun at any given time. And Switzerland has a very low crime rate. And you take uh, the U.S., the only places where the U.S. has a problem with crime are in places where they have uh, gun control. Chicago, New York City, and places like that. And schools and malls. And in Toronto here, where I am right now, it's a war zone. Because they've taken away the ability of people to protect themselves in this city. Gun crimes in Toronto, a place where guns are illegal, are up dramatically. They're already illegal here. And yet gun cr crime is, is rising steadily in this city. The problem here is not gun control. You know, even though the, the American government will use the, uh, will use the crisis in the, in the schools and, and the malls where the shootings are happening, the American government, you know, Obama and that, they'll use it to further uh, remove freedoms from the people because the people are too stupid to realize that the Second Amendment is all about uh, arming yourself against the government, and that's what they don't want. Wake up, America. Wake up, Canada. Thanks for watching.